Hello and thanks for the opportunity to speak with you today. I think anyone who's writing a memoir is searching for the truth on some level. They're trying to make sense of something that's happened in their lives and hope that by telling their story they might reach out and touch others. I had no idea when I sat down to write about our small black cat Cleo and the way she helped us heal after the death of my older son Sam, that that book would have an impact on so many people. I was reasonably well known in New Zealand as a journalist then and I thought maybe it would sell a few thousand copies but now I think it's in 17 languages and including Italian of course and it just seems to have reached out across the world which surprised me at first. But then going by the emails I get, it's confirmed something for me, that no matter where we live, our experiences are very similar. We all feel the same. We all love our children and our parents and our animals. And we all fear for the same things. So the success of Cleo and the sequel Geo have taught me a lot, really. And I think one of the wonderful benefits for me has been making wonderful friends in publishing around the world, most of them women, including my lovely Italian translator, Edie Tassi. I think if you're wanting to write a memoir, dig deep, dig deep into your emotions, including the sorrow, because sometimes if you reach deeply enough and can do it in the right way, by expressing the sadness in your life, it can ultimately help others. And I think that's the greatest reward for any writer. So dig deep and be kind when you can. And good luck.